For me, the key questions are how do things work? How does the natural world work? And those are kind of scientific questions. And then the engineering part is how do we influence how the world works or how do we control these natural processes? So I suppose the starting point is a curiosity about the world and about how the natural environment works. I got involved in crystallization through actually a woman professor at the Technical University of Delft who came to give a course on crystallization in South Africa. And there was a free place on the course and my head of department said, go, it's a really good course. So I went and firstly I was really inspired by Professor Gerda van Rosmalen who was the teacher of the course and I thought, wow, this woman is amazing. She knows so much and she makes it sound so interesting. And secondly, I thought the subject was very interesting. The whole idea that in a natural process, things go from disorder to order because crystallization is a process of extreme order and structure. And it seemed very fascinating to me that that was a natural process that you could control and design and manipulate through engineering. So I got interested in that way. Crystallization is used in hydrometallurgy because in hydrometallurgy you want to recover the precious metals and one way to extract them from the ore is firstly to dissolve them in strong acid and now you have to extract them sequentially and selectively and crystallization does that in a very perfect and beautiful way. The other reason it's important is that a lot of crystallization in hydrometallurgy is carried out using recipes with very little understanding. So it's like alchemy. And I think that the contribution that we can make nowadays is to bring science to bear and start understanding exactly how these processes work.